Hello everyone, welcome back to Azure SQL Mastery and in this video, I will show you how to create a dashboard inside the Azure Data Studio. By default, Azure Data Studio provides two types of dashboard, a database level dashboard and a server level dashboard to monitor the servers as well as database. So to check the server level dashboard, you have to connect your instance and uh, right click and click on manage. It will open the server level dashboard where you will get a database size level information as well as the backup status okay and if you want to check the database level uh, dashboard you have to select any of the database right click and click on manage so where you will uh, get a database level dashboard now the server level dashboard is give uh, information about the servers and the based part of this dashboard is that you can customize this dashboard based on your requirement so for example let's say every time when you connect the instance and if you want to check the inside of your server based on your requirement for example you want a number of connection inside this server cpu utilization by each database or a number of logins inside this server or a database size uh, inside this server total number of database inside this server so you can configure each and every information in your dashboard so every time when you connect the your instance you will get a quick insight of your server without doing any query and similarly for the database level dashboard you will configure a database level information for example top 10 consuming cpu consuming query or top 10 memory consuming query or a uh, number of blockings inside the query or missing index detail or unused index details or types of index fragmentation level right so you can configure the similar information in a database level dashboard so whenever you connect the database and check the dashboard you will get a database level information very quickly without typing or any query okay so let's first customize the server level dashboard so for that, you have to type uh, Control Shift P and open the user setting. Okay. So before that, uh, to save a time, I have created two queries. Let me quickly show you. So open the file uh, server level. So I have here I have created two queries: number of logins in my server. So when I run this query. I will get a total number of logins inside my server and the second query is number of uh, CPU utilizations by database. So when I run this query, I will get a information about the uh, data, uh, how much CPU utilized by each database. Okay. So now let's customize our server level dashboard. So go to the, so click a control shift P and open the user setting and in this search text box type a dashboard okay so now when you type a dashboard you will get a da dashboard database property dashboard database tab so first three tabs are database level and second three are a server level so here we are customized a server level dashboard so go to the dashboard server widgets click a edit setting json file now you are in the json file so let's customize it so so let's go with the first name so i want to give a name um, number of logins okay then grid item config and set the x and y so i'm going to set here one uh, let's go two by two and uh, size y2 okay after that let's configure the widget and inside the widget i am going to select the inside widget and here i will give my file name okay so let's first format this json file so right click and click on a format documents okay so before give a query file name let's first select the type of 
the information you want to show. So here I want to show the information in a table format like this. I, this is not table format, this is a graph format, but I want to show the information like a table format. So select a type and type a table. Okay, and I will give my query file location. So Save the file, again click on his instance name, right click and click on manage. So you will get a number of logins informations. So here now you customize your server level dashboard. So the default setting will not be available. So now you want a default setting as well as, so let's go to the json find again and copy this copy this code and type uh, let's say backup history right so backup history and here i'm going to remove this code and what i want I want a backup so backup history server insight let's format it okay save the file i think some missing yeah this is extra i guess let's remove it. format okay so now let's open it uh, again a dashboard let's close the dashboard and right click and click a manage so now you will get a backup history Okay, similarly, you will get a size of the database. So let's go it, select the code, copy the code, sorry, paste it. And here I want a database level size. So uh, all the database size server inside. So let's select it, close the dashboard, right click, click on manage. So here you will get a Okay, let's change the name first. So here the database, database size, and this is a backup history. This is the number of logins, right? Click on manage, you will see the database size level history. Now, so similarly, you can customize a dashboard based on your requirement. So right now the number of logins, backup backup history database size now there is one more uh, let's do it the cpu utilization by each database so i'm again copy the code and here i will give the cpu utilize by database and give the database a file name so my open the file give the name okay save this json file refresh the dashboard okay let's close it and connect again so you will get a cpu utilized by database so here you will get uh, the database name cpu time and the CPU percentage, okay? So now let's say if you want uh, any query, let's say for example, number of logins. Now I want a query inside this table or so, click on three dots, click on a run a query, you will get a query used by this dashboard, okay? This is a server level dashboard. Let's configure the database level dashboard. So for that, go to the any database and click on manage. So this is a database level dashboard. So by default, you are getting a facility. You can object, uh, you can search your object using this search window. So for example, department, so you can search it. 
okay but now i want more details in in this dashboard let's say for example top 10 queries cpu consuming query or top 10 memory consuming query or missing index detail or unused index detail or you know, top, total tables count or uh, a number of object details let's say for example number of tables or let's say active connection detail you will configure a database level dashboard okay so for that again uh, type a control shift p open the user setting and go to this time you have to select the database widgets edit a json file okay so by default there is an object search dashboard is there okay now you want to configure your own customized dashboard for example top 10 memory utilize query or top 10 cpu can expensive query okay so for that let's do it so let's say expensive query queries by cpu okay i'm not going to change this code but here i'm going to select the insight widget and here i am going to go with the type so <coughs> here i am selecting the type a table again i am going to type a query file and my query file is available in this location so let's select the location so <coughs> so i have already created a query to save the time so let's give the path and give the file name dot sql okay save the json file right click any database click on a manage so here you will see now i will get a expensive query by cpu okay or you can say cpu utilized query so you will get this information whenever you select the database and click on a manage so using this dashboard you will quickly get a insight of your database you do not need to write a any query you will easily get a information whenever you want and you will get you will get this information quickly so no need to remember the queries you will whatever you want you can customize in your dashboard to save the time okay so let's now uh, create one more tab for the cpu utilized query okay this is sorry memory uh, utilized query save the json file right click a database click on a manage so now here right now i don't have a query which is taking a more memory so right now there is no result to show okay so similarly you can customize your dashboard based on your requirement my intention to show this demo so you will customize your dashboard and you will quickly get a insight of your database as well as a server based on your requirement i hope you like this video see you in the next video thank you